It's summertime, summertime, sum, sum, summertime, 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 sum, sum, summertime, 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 sum, sum, summertime, 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 sum, sum, this morning on today's family summer camp and separation anxiety. What if I don't like it? What if I want to come home? Is a question kids often ask their folks before leaving for summer camp. So how do you answer that? And how do you prepare your kids for time away from home? Christopher Thurber is a psychologist and co-author of the Summer Camp Handbook. Christopher, good to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Good now, to be here. You're wearing a jacket. Is this from your, your summer camp? This is it. This is my 10-year jacket, uh, but I've actually been at this camp for 23 summers. Really? What's the camp? Camp Belknap in Wolfboro, New Hampshire. So you obviously yeah. like it. Uh, yeah, very much so. <laughs> How did your folks prepare you for going away to camp? Um, they did the usual uh, very quick preparation, which, which isn't enough. Mm -hmm. um, just saying, have a great time. But what my co-author, John Malinowski, and my colleagues at UCLA, Marion Sigmund and John Wise, and I found out, we studied thousands of children between 8 and 16 who were away from, away from home at camp for a couple of weeks, and we found that 95% of them reported some homesickness on at least one day. Now, the good news is only about 1 in 5 kids are bothered by homesickness sickness and only about one in 14 have intense homesickness so, so it's, not, it's perfectly normal to be it's homesick. perfectly normal and that's really important for everyone to understand mm -hmm. yeah so we've got some some tips for homesickness prevention yes you suggest include your child in planning going to camp. Right. Uh, one of the things that we found in the research was that kids who felt forced to go away were more likely to be homesick. So including your child in the decision about where to go, how long to stay, that sort of thing is really important. Talk to them about, yeah. about being homesick and let them know that it's, it's normal. Right? Exactly. Uh, especially older kids, they're anxious when they feel homesick because they think there's something wrong with me and that just exacerbates the situation. So knowing that it's normal is really comforting to kids. You suggest not making a deal to pick the kids up yes. and say something goes wrong. Yeah. Yes, or even before homesick. anything goes being, wrong. As far yes. as being it's normal for kids to ask, what if I feel homesick? And well-intentioned parents will sometimes sabotage a camp say by saying something like, if you feel homesick, Al, I'll come and get you. Mm -hmm. But what that conveys is a message of lack of confidence. It's like saying, I have so little confidence in your ability to cope with this normal situation that I think the only solution is for me to come and rescue you. Mm -hmm. Instead, what parents need to say is, well, I think you will feel homesick. And if you feel homesick, that's okay. It means there's something about home that you love and that's a wonderful thing, but you're going to do great. And eventually you will be coming back home. Exactly. You're not going to be at camp for a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Little kids especially need to understand that. If, you're, if your kids have not spent any major time away yeah. from home, should you practice yes. being away from home? Practice time away from home is essential, either at grandparents' house or at a friend's house, you know, long weekend, something like that, because what it does is it gives kids an opportunity to practice some of their favorite coping strategies. Mm -hmm. And what works for you might not work for me. Some kids are very comforted by looking, for example, at a picture of their parents that they pack in their trunk. Other kids, it makes them feel worse. So you need to practice these techniques. And one of the, the things you have in here that I think is great, send a letter to the camp before the first right. day. Right. I'm a, I'm a traditionalist when it comes to correspondence. I think that letter writing is the best way to keep in touch with your kids at camp. And if they get a letter on the first or second day, it makes them feel really good. So. Now, we talk about your trunk. The trunk that you send with your kids, yeah. very important, correct? Yes. <laughs> uh, you should pack in the camp's recommended container. If, for example, the kids have bureaus, you probably are going to be asked to pack things in a duffel bag. Otherwise, you're going to be asked to pack things in a trunk, which could be your stepping stool to the top mm -hmm. bunk. So pack in the recommended and you, they usually give you a list of things that you should put in the trunk, right? They do, absolutely. So if you're going to Camp Elnap, you'll get a list of what's required, what's recommended, or what's optional, and some things not to bring, like fireworks or food mm -hmm. or knives or things like that. I know it seems silly, but I guess you should label everything? <laughs> it's not silly at all, absolutely. Uh, every camp has a lost and found. It's... It, Kids don't have any trouble losing things, and other kids find it, but getting it back requires that everything is labeled. Now, wash and wear before camp. Why? Well, uh, the second day is, a really, day is a really bad time to find out the underwear, the brand new underwear you bought is too small, right? So, Or hiking boots, for example. You uh, want to wear those around and break right. them in so you're not going up the mountain with a brand new pair of boots. Now, you, you talk about preparing for loss. What do you mean? I mean, don't bring the $900 cashmere sweater. Even mm -hmm. if it's labeled, you might not get it back. Right. Don't bring the monogram towels. And how about yeah. laundry frequency? Well, uh, we recommend in the summer camp handbook to bring one and a half times the number of days between laundry days. So mm -hmm. if laundry's done every week, bring 10 or 11 of your essential items like socks and underwear.
Who, who do you yeah. think misses each other more, the parents or the kids? <laughs> that's, you know, that's a good question. The American Camping Association has a slogan, Camp Gives Kids a World of Good. And we know this to be true. We're doing some research right now to understand more about that. But I think it's both. Yeah. I think it's parents and kids. They miss each other. It's normal for parents to be, quote, unquote, kid sick, right? right? And the thing for them to do is talk to other parents if they feel anxious. Try not to convey this anxiety to your kids. Yeah. Don't say, Al, have a great time at camp. I don't know what I'm going to do without you. Or, Al, have a great time at camp. I hope I remember to feed your dog. Don't right. give them something give to worry them. about. All right. And enjoy yeah. it. And enjoy All it. It's right. a wonderful thing. It's a powerful experience. Christopher Thurber, thanks yeah. a lot. Thanks very much. And for more tips on sending your kids to summer camp, visit our website at today. MSNBC.com.